You catch us in the pit lane with Danny Buchan and Scott Redden. First of all, it's a tradition, as Scott's just finding out in Oak Hill, to have a Bakewell tart at the lunchtime interval. So, Danny, first of all, how's your tart? Good. Tasty, as always. Yeah. Yeah. Always, it's a Scottish Bakewell tart. Exactly, mate. That's the only reason I come up here. Now, now it's started to rain a little bit. What better, what better than to uh, share, a, share a tart on, uh, in pit lane? Yeah, Scott, you've had a couple of bits as well, but... Uh, you said off. You, you've said no to the last bit because there's 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 a big big check on the line and you want to be nice and light. You're saying? Exactly. Yeah, 75 grand on the line for the next three rounds. So I thought I need to cut a bit of weight because that'd be nice. Okay, you're here on the test bike today. Uh, the, the main race bike's not here, but how valuable is it just to spin some laps on that? Just good for the brain, really. The brain just to yeah, my brain don't work well at the best of times. So just to keep it sharp and um, yeah, keep it up to speed is good. And yeah, what better way to do it? You know, it was um, the bike is is as good as a British Superbike, you know, it's not got a few things on, so um, we can't, really couldn't race it, but it's good, and just, yeah, just to get here and just blow the cobwebs out, really, before Browns is quite nice, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can be um, somewhere near ready when we get there on Friday. You seem a lot more focused this year, you know, your, your, your pace is good, is, is it the Bakewell or what, or what is it? <laughs> yeah, I've just been a little more relaxed this year, you know, like, obviously if you follow Scott on social media, like, being happy and relaxed is, uh, is, is a better way for me as well to be, you know, and yeah, it's just made my riding a little bit better, and um, might because I'm growing old now. I'm 26, got a family and that now, so I'm a little bit more mature. Got 26. Hair on my chin. 26. Yeah. You're yeah. growing old. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I think it's probably like a whole load of things. Experience as well, and yeah. Now it's um, a bit easier to go faster. What I would do to be 26 again, I tell you that, Scott. Uh, how, much, how old are you actually? 26 as well. 26 as well. 26 is the magic number. It would be. <laughs> First impressions of Oak Hill, you arrived in lovely sunshine in Edinburgh yesterday and you had lovely sunshine all morning, unfortunately, but what's your first impressions? Yeah, mate, I got off the plane and they thought I thought they dropped me off at Melbourne or something. The sun was shining, I thought, this ain't Scotland, this is not what I've heard. Lo and behold, uh, the rain showing itself. <laughs> um, but it's been good, I went out this morning, uh, finally we had a few technical issues with the bike, so I missed two sessions, which were quite critical really, but when I got out there and actually got to learn the track, it was quite enjoyable, you know, there's a lot of heart in the moment you know around the lap because a lot of blind things but I gelled quite well with it it's quite quirky and it's a different track for me to learn and I've enjoyed every lap it was a shame we couldn't really get another full session in but you know some laps is better than no laps yeah okay so you go from here you go to Brands Hatch there there is a big you know a big paycheck for both you guys Danny first of all on the line <laughs> can, can you win the 75,000 pounds I don't know, you know, it's, it it's been, yeah, that's what I mean, <laughs> got to try and beat him and 30 others, you know, it's never going to be easy, but yeah, it was funny because on like, Instagram before you come here, I was like, have you seen, wait till you get to Knock Hill, like compared to the GP <laughs> tracks, I said, you're going to think the track's the paddock, I said, like, I can't wait to see your reaction, and yeah, like, he's, he's smashing it up, but it's, right. yeah, and just then he followed me through the chicane, and he said, I can't believe how you go through that chicane. Yeah. Yeah. Was that valuable following him through the chicane, was Scott? It, it was, you know, just because I've got more experience. Everyone here has got more experience than me just on riding round. So just to be behind, it, most of the lines was okay, but a few places like where it's blind up over chicane, I thought I was doing not bad, but I got behind Danny and I thought, where is he going? And he was on the left, he went straight, and I thought, nah, he's got it wrong. And then he just drove away and I thought, okay, <laughs> that's something I need to try and learn. Then when he went, I had no gauge again, but that's something where I need more laps to kind of build up to it. But it's a mega track, to be honest with you. It is small, it is quirky, but I can believe it gives good racing. Are you now regretting showing him the line through the chicane? He's going to see, isn't he? Like, when he gets, uh, when he gets there, he's going to see. He's yeah, going to see. Yeah, I was, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He ain't seen my invoice yet. Obviously, he's got to win it first. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it's... Um, no, he's going to learn. He's going to find out, you know, he's... It's um, yeah, like it's when you get here on the race weekend. Obviously, you do free free practices, so there's quite a lot of time. And around here, 45 minute sessions, you get a lot. You get a lot done. So it's probably valuable for you, isn't it? Like just even being here today and seeing the track. So when he comes here and races. Okay, so I asked Danny, can he win the 75 grand? He's kind of almost playing it down, but you actually have won the last three races in the British Superbike Championship. Yeah, it's pretty good going. You, let's not talk about that. He's right in front of me as well. Obviously, yeah. you know you are a hot favourite for this because it's. A, you know, Brands Hatch, not Kilsnetterton, you're doing the test here. It is doable, Scott, isn't it? It is, but it's a big ask, you know, like, I've also got to beat Danny and 30 of us out there as well. Um, on all three tracks, I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, cheers, Stuart, mate. Like, could have helped me out, started it last week, but, it, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I'll do my best. I think it's a big ask to do it, but never say never. I'm always a positive thinker. Uh, and race day is always different. We saw that at Donington. Um, I didn't expect to do the three wins and I managed to get it done. 
But now I'm coming to a track that's completely different. And like I said, I've never done brands full circuit either. So it's, again, I've got to learn it in a race weekend and see. But we'll give it a good go. Uh, and sure, we'll all be battling to try to get our hands on it. Here you go then, guys. Why not come and support these two when we've got the Britain's British Super Bikes back at Not Kill Racing Circuit? Danny Buchan and Scott Redden, you could do that by checking out notkill.com for tickets. Get them at the advanced ticket price deal. But we've also got VIP hospitality down at the hairpin. So why not come and watch these guys doing their thing? I'm not getting you VIP hospitality, no, I'm not. 